Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about cycles in nature photosynthesis. This will be the first quarter topic, week 8 and day 1 and this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to activate prior knowledge and identify what students already know about the cellular respiration, photosynthesis, and related concepts The second one is to accurately observe and interpret the result of the inflating insights which is all about blowing balloons with CO2 magic activity And the third one is to collaborate with peers to share and discuss their ideas and questions during the KWHL chart activity. For the short review, the students will accomplish the activity one, which is all about the key WHL chart, and then ask the students to answer the key W and the H portion. For the lesson purpose, the students will accomplish the activity number two which is all about inflating inside blowing balloons with co2 magic and for the objectives at the end of the activity the learners understand the role of the carbon dioxide in the photosynthesis and respiration and how it is produced and utilized by living organisms for the procedure, first is to insert the end part of the funnel into the opening of the rubber balloon. The second one is to pour sugar and the baker yeast into the balloon through the funnel. And the third one is to fill the measuring cup with 20 ml of warm water, pour the water into the balloon. And the fourth one is to remove the funnel from the balloon, tie the neck of the balloon into the tight knot, and then measure the balloon circumference with the tape measure and record measurements in centimeters. Find a warm place in the laboratory, measure the balloon circumference every 10 minutes. After the students accomplished the activity, the students now answered the following guide questions. For the first guide question, how does the addition of sugar and baker's yeast to warm water in the balloon relate to the cellular respiration? Explain the rule of each component in the process. Sugar or glucose is the primary fuel source for cellular respiration, a metabolic process that converts the chemical energy stored in glucose into ATP, which can be used by cells to power their activities. Whereas the baker's yeast, yeast is a single-celled fungus that can perform cellular respiration just like other eukaryotic organisms. The yeast cells in the experiment will break down the glucose, which is the sugar, through a process called the fermentation, which is a type of anaerobic respiration. The role of the warm water in the process of respiration is that the warm water helps to activate the yeast cells and optimize the condition for cellular respiration to occur. So yeast, like many other organisms, perform better at slightly warmer temperature. For the second guide question, how does the measurement of the balloon circumference over time relate to the concept of cellular respiration? Discuss how the changes in the circumference of the balloon reflect the production of gas 
as a byproduct of cellular respiration. So here's how the balloon circumference measurements relate to the cellular respiration. So as the yeast cell break down the glucose through the fermentation, they release CO2 as a waste product. This CO2 gas fills the interior of the balloon, causing the balloon to expand and its circumference to increase over time. The rate of increase in the balloon circumference corresponds to the rate of the CO2 production by the yeast cells. The faster the CO2 is generated, the more quickly the balloon will inflate and the greater the change in circumference over each time interval. For the third guide question, what is the significance of finding a warm place to conduct the experiment in relation to cellular respiration? The temperature of the environment is an important factor that influences the rate of the cellular respiration, particularly in organisms like yeast that are sensitive to temperature changes. For unlocking of content area vocabulary, the students will accomplish activity 3, which is all about the word launcher. So ask the students to complete the word puzzle using the words in the box.